All right, so I'm out here at First Energy Stadium in Reading, Pennsylvania, speaking with our Phil's manager, Mark Parent. Mark, uh, I want to talk to you about uh, several topics here. Just uh, what are the big, biggest positives for the club in the early going so far in 2011? Um, pitching. Our pitching has been very good. Um, starting bullpen has been unbelievable. lamont has been doing well. The press is, is coming around. Uh, everybody's chipped in. Cisco and long relief has been good. And then you go on to Zide, who's uh, figuring out J.C. Ramirez has done outstanding. Uh, Hyatt's been good. Everybody's been good, and then offensively, uh, Overback's done a fabulous job. Rizzotti started off very well, he's hit a little road, uh, little pothole or two, and then um, the defense is, infield defense has been really good with Galvis. He's played, he's played really well. Speaking of uh, Freddie, he, he's well regarded for his defense all, all around, and uh, you know, kind of has a reputation for not being so, so hot with the stick. Although he's been p performing, despite that, pretty well offensively this season. Just talk about Freddie a little bit. Well, we put him up. Uh, he, he, well, first of all, let's go back. He, he spent the offseason trying to get stronger. And it's really showed up in his defense with his arm. His arm strength's improved. And then he's got a little bit more pop. But one of the things we did was we stuck him up into more meaningful at-bats for him. I was always before, you know, he's a glove guy. Let's put him in the eighth, ninth hole. And... Whatever we get, we get. Well, I, we pushed him a little bit, and we put him in the two hole. and our leadoff guy went down, so we moved him to the leadoff spot. And to him, the the bats mean more, and it's more uh, something that he's working on more because he feels that, as anybody does, and that's why we did it. You feel like your bats, you're more accountable for your offense, and it's paid off. He's worked at it more, and it's he's doing pretty good. Now you mentioned he he tried to build some strength. Uh, is, do you see that, or do you think it's it's more of that mental thing as far as the meaningful at bat? No, you see it because that's why I, I preface it with the defense with his arm. Um, he's a lot stronger. Um, he's more. Uh, he's, he's got a stronger base at the plate. He hit some long balls. Um, he's not afraid to let it go. His hand speed at times is really good. Other times he's still feeling for it. You know, I mean, he's not an offensive. Uh, Pure offensive shortstop. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a 21-year-old kid or 22 maybe, um, who's a major work in progress. But his gloves got him where he's going to be. I mean, where he is right now, he could probably be a you know a backup big leaguer one day. Maybe you know we don't want to leave out. He's still got an opportunity to play in the big leagues. I think. Okay. Uh, now you mentioned Josh Zide earlier. Um, completely skipped over high A level from Lakewood last year to get here and land with you and stick with you in Double A. Uh, he had a no hitter going last week. Left after five innings uh, with some back trouble. Just talk about that and, and what his situation is right now. Yeah, he was going to. Uh, we got rained out today. He was going to skip this start. Uh, he'd been a little sick and his and he didn't. Uh, he was in some coughing. He was doing a lot of coughing and it hurt his back somehow. Uh, I've heard it and seen it done many times. Uh, he's a pretty good talent for us. You know, he has, like you said, skipped a level, but he did go to the fall league and, and showed very well as a starter. He was in the bullpen for me last year, most of the year, and the arm strength and the, and the quality of secondary stuff is there, so they decided to make him a starter in the fall. He did very well, and he's doing a pretty good job here. He's just settling in, and uh, he's going to have a pretty good year. Okay. Talk about guys like uh, Rosati and Cody Overbeck in your lineup. They've pretty much, you know, put themselves out there as, as leaders of this offense and just really, you know, uh, exploded offensively this season. Just talk about those guys and, uh, you know, how they've become the premier hitters on this team. Well, Cody's, uh, he's got good hands. He's, his hands, his hand-eye coordination is really good. And when he gets to the ball, he's got outstanding pop. Uh, he can hit a fastball. He's quick hands. He lets the ball travel. And he's got good hands. Uh, it's, it's a baseball term. If it makes sense, I don't mm -hmm. know, but um, he's doing very well. Uh, situational home runs, two out hits. Uh, he's probably not going to hit in the 300s. He might hit in the 270, 280, but he's going to have a lot of. He could, uh, by the end of the year, have 20 plus homers. Easy. And then. Uh, you know, his defense is, is he can play anywhere. He was going to play left field today. 
Uh, he's been working out out there, and um, he's doing a good job. Rosati uh, started off on fire, uh, but you, he, as a 380 hitter, going back to the same league, you can't hide it. People are going to come, and they're going to be prepared for you this year. They're not when they go over lineup. They're not going to go, okay, Galveston swinging. So what? We got how are we going to get Rosati out? Well, this is what they did to him here. They got him out. So he's he's not just like going to roll through it this year. He's going to have to continue to work. And as any player that goes up to higher levels, you got to keep making adjustments. And he's one guy in the last couple of years who hasn't had to make any adjustments, but he needs to. And he's he's sort of stubborn about it, but he's getting there and he's working at it. So. He's going to be he's still a work in progress, even though he did hit 380 last year. I don't know if this is something you can say, but this is, uh, you know, other people have this opinion uh, uh, as far as Matt Rosati goes this season. Uh, should he be at AAA right now? Uh, no, he's got he's got stuff to work on. Okay. It's not saying he won't be there next month. I mean, eventually they got to see if he can do it or not. But uh, he's... So far this season, he's he's gotten he's improved in his defense. He's he's conditioning better. These are all things he need to work on. I mean, uh, if he was to get called up or taken to another club and go to the big leagues, he can go from here. Uh, I don't see. I just really don't see the big problem with people being here in AAA. It's, it's not a big difference. I'm sure you're very pleased with the group of guys that you have here, but uh, is, is there anybody on the Clearwater roster, one level down, that you're looking forward to hopefully uh, taking the step upward to join the r -Fill? Well, I'd like to see all of them come here. Uh, I mean, they're, they're a talented group, uh, the pitching. But, you know, we're, the Phillies are going to be patient with all those guys, from Valier to Cozart, Colvin, Pettibone. You know, that group's going to stay together. Uh, there might be a... Maybe an outfielder or two, but I, I doubt it. They're all James. Um, there's only one guy maybe who's a little bit older than them is the Gump. Uh, most people don't see him as a prospect. I do. Uh, I'm on him. And uh, I don't, you know, Singleton. No, they're going to stay there all year. They're going to they're gonna put up their numbers, and they're going to, you know, then once they get here next year, if they do, and they can go wherever they need to go from here too, but uh, I'm not really. I'm not even concerned with Clearwater really. I, I'm. I watch them because I had them, but I don't think about it. You're you're being patient with that. Now, uh, last thing before I let you go, thank you for taking the time. I wanted to uh, go back to uh, one of your, one of your star pitchers right now, J.C. Ramirez. Uh, hot start to the season. Has he surprised you at all? Yeah, because uh, what I saw last spring, and and listening to. Uh, conference calls and phone game reports last year he's not the guy that he was last year and everybody will say that to you he's um, he's a happier guy he means business uh, he wants to play in the upper level uh, major leagues he's doing everything he's taking care of his body his hips he had surgery on his hip he's he feels renewed but he's not taking it for granted he's going and doing all his workouts uh, He's doing his English classes. He's doing everything that they're asking him to do, and he's smiling through the whole thing and doing well. Granted, his fastball is good. He can, he can light it up 95, 96 at times. Um, needs to work on his secondary stuff, slider mostly, and uh, so he can get, as you notice, he, he didn't have more than one strikeout for his like, first three or four starts. And then he broke out one day with a good slider. It's coming around. It just needs to continue to come around uh, to get up to the next level. But he's certainly a guy for me that uh, can play in the big leagues, and you know what? He's just shown that he wants to. Okay, so yeah.